On November 21, 2024, Croatia celebrated a significant milestone in its defense modernization efforts as the 7th Rafale F-3 R fighter jet landed at the Colonel Marko Zhivkovic barracks in Pliso. Delivered by Dassault Aviation, this arrival is part of a 1 billion euro agreement with France, aimed at replacing Croatia's aging MiG-21 fleet with cutting-edge multirole fighter jets. The agreement, signed in May 2021, includes the delivery of 12 Rafale F-3 R jets, training for Croatian pilots and technicians, and logistical support equipment. Deliveries began in October 2023 and are scheduled to conclude by April 2025, ensuring a steady integration process. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense Ivan Anuzic hailed this as a historic moment for Croatia's military, describing it as the country's largest defense investment to date. Anuzic emphasized that this initiative is part of a broader strategy to strengthen Croatia's deterrence capabilities. Alongside the Rafales, Croatia is also acquiring advanced drones, Leopard 2A8 tanks, and HIMARS rocket systems, reflecting its commitment to safeguarding national sovereignty and enhancing NATO interoperability. Major General Michael Krizanek, commander of the Croatian Air Force, praised the integration of the Rafale fleet as a significant leap forward for the country's defense capabilities. The new jets, assigned to the 191st Fighter Squadron at Pliso, will gradually replace the decades-old MiG-21 fleet. The Rafale F-3 R variant represents a pinnacle of aviation technology. Equipped with features such as the Thales Talios laser designation pod, Meteor long-range missiles, and the Automatic Ground Collision Avoidance System, AGCAS, these aircraft are capable of conducting diverse missions, including air superiority, reconnaissance, ground strikes, and anti-ship operations. These technologies ensure that Croatia's air force will remain operationally relevant well into the mid-21st century. To ensure the successful integration of the Rafales, Croatian pilots have undergone intensive training at France's saint Dizier Air Base with the Rafale Transformation Squadron, ETR, Three Quarters, Aquitaine. The program included theoretical studies and practical missions, equipping pilots with the skills to operate the advanced systems of the Rafale in complex scenarios. Infrastructure upgrades at Pliso Air Base are also underway, including facilities to support the technical requirements of the new jets. Ground personnel are being trained to maintain and service the fleet, further strengthening operational readiness. This acquisition aligns Croatia with NATO standards, reinforcing its role within the alliance and its ability to contribute to regional and international security. By modernizing its military capabilities, Croatia ensures the protection of its airspace and positions itself as a key player in collective defense efforts. Eric Trapier, CEO of Dassault Aviation, underscored the successful collaboration between France and Croatia, highlighting the project's importance for both nations. With six more Rafales scheduled for delivery in 2025, Croatia is on track to achieve a fully operational squadron, marking a decisive transformation in its defense posture. The Rafale's adoption by Croatia reflects its growing prominence on the global stage. Initially slow to gain international traction after its 2001 debut, the Rafale's fortunes changed in 2015 with export orders from Egypt, Qatar, and India. Since then it has become a preferred choice for many countries, including Greece, Indonesia, the UAE, and Serbia. This success is attributed to the Rafale's multirole versatility, advanced capabilities, and compatibility with NATO systems. Croatia's decision to invest in these aircraft reinforces the Rafale's reputation as a game-changer in military aviation and underscores the importance of strong defense partnerships in an increasingly complex geopolitical landscape. As the remaining Rafale's arrive in the coming months, Croatia's air force is set to enter a new era of capability, ensuring national security and enhancing its contribution to NATO operations for decades to come.